All right, so the next thing I wanna do is copy over the styling from our demo application or our static application. So let's uh, go ahead and copy over all the styles and let's set up the header and the footer and um, that sort of stuff. So to begin, let's make a different git branch. I'm just gonna do a git s, make sure I'm in a clean directory. Let's do git checkout dash b and uh, we're gonna check out into a new branch and that branch is gonna be called uh, styling. All right, so we're good. All right, so let's go through, let's go back to Sublime. If I open up the static code, I'm gonna start with the application.scss stuff. So I'm going to close out of all of this stuff for now. Let's close out of views. Let's go to app, assets, style sheets. Uh, first thing I wanna do is rename the application.scss to or application.css to application.css.scss. That way we can use the uh, SCSS we wrote. All right, so let's copy that. Let's copy everything from our static code and paste it in here. And let's uh, go down and change the syntax highlighting to um, syntax highlighting for SAS and we'll click SCSS. So if we tried to save this, we'll get an error, I believe because uh, it can't import normalize uh, or the other ones. So for now, I'm just going to uh, comment these out and save that. Now let's go back to our blog application and refresh. So uh, it's already taking effect because we got the uh, font and the colors going. All right, so let's start by creating the header. So back in our views, let's go to our static code and let's just open up the index for now. So let's uh, take this stuff from the head section and then let's open up app views layouts and application.html.erb. So let's paste that in here. So the title, let's just delete the old title. Um, we don't actually need this uh, style sheet link because uh, we already have that uh, linking the style sheet application file. So let's delete that link. Uh, the other two, uh, the Google Fonts and the um, Font Awesome links, we're gonna keep those. So let's uh, save both of those and let's go back to our static code and the header, let's grab that. All right, so right below the body, we're gonna add the header code and save it. Now, if we go back and refresh, all right, it's showing up. So most of these links are stubbed out. Um, we actually don't have any of the links set up except for the articles. We can change this regular h or href to a link to tag and we'll link to articles. And uh, this is going to go to the uh, post path. And let's delete that, refresh. And if we click on here, we are at slash posts. All right, so other than that, we don't have uh, projects or the contact page or even the homepage set up just yet. But before we do that, I'm going to copy over the rest of the styles. So we have everything from our application.css or scss. Uh, next, I want to do the normalize. So let's copy that, create a new style sheet, save this as underscore uh, normalize.css.scss paste that in here, save. Now let's go back to our application uh, SCSS file and uncomment the normalize import. All right, so that fixes stuff a bit. Now let's do the same for uh, the post projects uh, file. Let's copy that, create a new style sheet, save it as a uh, post actually underscore post uh, projects dot CSS dot SCSS, paste that in and save that. Uh, I used a different name for that. So um, this is gonna be plural. So post and projects, save that. All right, and the last one will be the welcome page. So I'm gonna copy all these styles go back and create a new file, and this is going to be welcome.css.scss, and paste that styling in. All right, and then finally, uncomment the at import. Actually, 
this uh, should actually be underscore. All right, there we go. Um, and then from here, we can delete this uh, generated or this uh, SCSS file that was generated by uh, the Rails controller generation. All right, so uh, we are good for that. All of our styling is over. The next thing we want to do, uh, let's go ahead and commit our work. Let's do git status. We've added a bunch of projects. Let's do a git s, or whoops. Let's do a git add dot, then a git s. Now let's commit this and say git commit dash am copied uh, styling from static code. All right. So next I want to create the home page. So let's go back to our static design. Uh, this is the page I want to create. We don't actually need a model for this. Uh, we just need a controller and a view. So what I will do is uh, do rails generate controller. And I'm just going to say a welcome controller. So now that that is good, uh, the next thing we want to do is let's go back, create some routes. So in sublime text, let's go open up the routes file. So we don't actually need all of the resources for the welcome controller. All we really need is one. So let's do git uh, welcome slash index or welcome pound index. Save that. And now if we do a rake route, whoops, rake routes. Um, missing controller. Maybe it needs to be slash index. Let's try that again. There we go. So it's a uh, welcome slash index. All right. So we have the route for that set up, but we want to root that to the root of the application. So let's do root and welcome index. Uh, so this is defining the route, and then this is setting the uh, welcome controller index action to the root of our application. So if I go back to our application and just go to localhost, I'll get an unknown action uh, because on the welcome controller, if I open that up, let's do def index and now refresh, get a template is missing error. Uh, let's go ahead and create that. So under app views welcome, Let's create a new file, index.html.erb. And I will just say h1 hello world. And make sure that works. All right, it's not clear which file to import. Ah, okay, so what happened is we already added the welcome.scss. And when we generated the controller, it added an scss file for us. So let's go ahead and delete that generated one. Go back and refresh. There we go. Perfect. So let's go ahead and copy over what we've done from our static page. Let's go to the index.html. I'm just going to copy everything from the header to the footer and go to our template and paste that in. And make sure it's tabbed over correctly. And there we go. So everything here uh, is going to remain static for now. That looks good. Um, actually, we have posts, so what we can do is uh, create a loop to go through our posts. So to do that, first I'm going to go to uh, posts slash new, and let's create a new post. I'll say, let's see, the do list. And let's go to hipsum.co, grab some filler text. Alrighty, and paste that in. Perfect. Now let's create a new one. Let's go to post slash new. What was the other one? How do I learn X? How do I learn X? Paste in the filler text, create the post. All right. So now let's go to um, localhost 3000. So we're going to change this from the static code to uh, a loop through 
our posts. So how we are going to do that is, so for the stuff I've written, that's going to stay, the H2 and the HR. Um, the next thing is we are going to create a loop. So I'm going to do at post at each. So for each post, I'm going to do uh, post uh, singular, and then let's end this. So inside of here, I'm going to copy the H3 and the P tag. So for each post, we want to grab the uh, post, oops, print it out, post.title. And actually we want this to be a link to the actual post. So let's do a link to post.title. And then the path is going to be post. And then the date, let's uh, do the, what we're gonna do here is post.created at dot strf time um, and then this is going to be the formatting for the time we're going to use a regex so I'm going to do percent a um, comma percent lowercase b and percent lowercase d and then if I save that go back and refresh we get a undefined method dot each um, and it if you can't guess uh, what's going on here is because in our welcome controller, we have not defined what the posts are or what at post means. So let's do at post equals post dot all and let's order it by uh, created at in descending order. All right, so let's refresh. So we get these uh, the posts. Let's go ahead and delete those static ones to make sure it is working correctly. Beautiful. And if we click on here, we should go to the actual post, which we do. Perfect. So uh, one issue as is right now, if I create post slash new, say third post, let's go to hipsum.co again, grab some more filler text. I should just leave this open paste it in and let's do another one slash new fourth post all right so if I go to localhost now we only want three posts to show up on the index so how we are going to do that is after post all we are going to do a dot limit and we're going to limit it to three posts and then we are going to order it by created at column in descending order. So if we refresh, it only has the most latest uh, or most recent three posts. So we will do the same thing once the project's uh, model has been created. But for now, this is good enough. The last thing I want to do, or a few things, let's uh, make this link work. So it goes to the root path. So let's go to our application.html. So instead of the regular logo, let's uh, create a link to tag. And let's say uh, McKinsey child, uh, you can replace it with your name. And we're going to go to the root path. And let's also add a class with name. And if we delete that, uh, styling should not change, but it should take us to the home page. Beautiful. All right, so the last thing is we are missing a footer. So if we go back to our static code, let's copy over our footer. And in our application template, we have the header. The yield is where the other templates come in. So let's keep that as is. And below that, let's paste the footer. Now if I refresh, beautiful. So we have the copyright and we have the actual links. Let's uh, make those actual links. So I'll do HTTP colon slash Twitter dot com slash McKinsey child. I'm going to copy that and paste it. This will be dribble.com. I believe my username is McKinsey child um, for all three of these actually. So I'm just going to change the URL, github.com. Another thing I want to do is for each of these, if they click on them, let's open it up in a new tab. Let's do target um, equals underscore blank. And that will cause it to open up in a new tab instead of the current. 
Perfect. Okay, so in the next video, I want to uh, style the posts or add the structure to the posts and also add markdown and syntax highlighting functionality to our articles. <laughs>